Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder, and in this series of videos, we're going to be looking at products brought to you by Real Deals for You. And they've sponsored this series of videos, but they've asked Skill Builder to give some honest feedback and evaluation on those products. And if you like what you see, then follow the link on the screen, and that will help you to find an approved local stockist. So the product we're looking at this week is the Leica Lino 2 Crosshead Laser. I'm really pleased to be showing you this product because I can't believe that a brand like Leica are producing this level at this price. It really is the sort of thing that people used to save up for a long time for. Leica is a premium brand, really well known in the optics world and known for their surveying equipment. So for them to bring this fantastic compact little laser to you, I think is a really, really good thing. If you've never had a laser level, then now's the time to think about it. If you've been put off by the price, you thought, oh, they're too complicated or whatever, then just have a look at this. Not only is it tiny, compact little thing, that it also packs the features. In the case, we get an adapter to put onto the tripod, and we also get a little pair of legs and a carrying strap. So, what we've got here, I'm just gonna show you controls on the top. We've got the on-off switch. Now that fires up the laser straight away, as you can see. Now, I'm just gonna say at this point about safety, never look into a laser. It is a hazard. This is a class two laser, which means that it's not hazardous so long as you don't look down that beam. But every so often on site, you will catch a laser. And as so long as you turn away and you don't stare into it, you're absolutely fine. So just be sensible because it can damage your eyes if you stared into it for a long time. So we have the on off switch and that, I'm gonna turn this around actually to help you see what's going on here. Let's fire that onto the wall. The on off switch will automatically fire up the first sequence, which is the vertical line and the horizontal line. And then if I press the on off switch once more, you can see that the vertical line disappears and we end up with a horizontal line. Now that horizontal line can be used to set out if we were tiling around the room, for example, we could set out around the room and we can just turn the laser as we need to around the room to keep that line going. Now, if I press that button again, you'll see that that, excuse me, that horizontal line disappears and we've got the vertical line. So the vertical line will allow us it goes up onto the ceiling, so if we were setting a wall out or something like that, we can do it, it'll take it down onto the floor, so that way you can get yourself a perfectly straight line around the room. Now, there's another very important feature about lasers, and that is this locking me mechanism on the side here. I'll just turn that around so you can see it. There's a lock there that takes us from one position to another, and you can see on the top, it shows a little light there that says it's locked. Now, why would you want to lock it? The reason you would want to lock it is because you might want to run a line at an angle. So if you were setting out a staircase or something like that, you would lock your line so that it's no longer leveling, but it's still giving you a straight line laser. And that way you can set out even if you were doing something like a patio, for example, or a roof, you can set out the lines. So very useful to be able to lock it. But of course, in the main normal position, you would unlock it, and that would mean that it was self-leveling. So if I put it into the horizontal, you'll see that that horizontal line slightly wobbling there, and that's because there's a pendulum in there, and it's self-leveling. Now, when I tilt it to there, that line disappears altogether because it's no longer level. So if you see the line, once the line is steady, that means that it's self-leveled and it's ready for you to mark out your datum around the room. So you just have to make sure that when you're using it, you have it in the leveling mode if you need it in the leveling mode and not in the lock position. Because if you have it in the lock position, you could be thinking that was a level line, well you wouldn't because that's obvious it's not, but if it was very nearly level, you wouldn't know. So just make sure it's unlocked and you'll be all right. As I say, all those lights are on the top there to help you. Now, one other lovely little feature it's got on here 
is let's put that back on so you can see both of them and that's this little button here which you can see has dimmed the light down to about half the power. Now the reason you have that is one thing you don't always want that really bright laser shining around it's a nuisance to other people working on a site so you can just tone it down a bit. If you do need it if you're working in bright daylight and you do need it you can brighten it up a bit but if you tone it down you're also saving battery. Now this uses AA batteries which are cheap enough to do you can use rechargeables but it's a nuisance to have batteries running out so if you want a bit of battery conservation just press the button and dim it down. So that's it really in a nutshell that's the Leica Lino 2 L2 laser a fantastic bit of kit it really is and I think it's the sort of thing that most people would find lots and lots of uses for and be very glad to have. I should just mention by the way this nifty little tripod bracket which you can set out on a table or something like that you've got the adapter you can use it on an ordinary photographic tripod and you can screw that on the bottom and the great thing about that is that you can then swivel it around the room and put a datum line in all the way around the room. So that's the Lino L2 Crossline laser from Leica which is available from your Real Deals For You approved stockists. I'm Roger Bisbee, thanks very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, come back to see us soon, we've got lots more coming up on Skill Builder.